Ah, my male brain is having a bit of difficulty with these IKEA instructions. Or is it? Maybe I need to look at some recent study findings on the differences between the male and female brain. It's confusing because in 2008, German IKEA head Petra Hesser claimed that women are better than men at assembling flat pack furniture. And hey, sounds reasonable to me. I've certainly assembled my share of backwards Tromsus, Odensviks, and Demogorgons. But hold on, a group of Norwegian psychologists just published a study in Applied Cognitive Psychology putting this statement to the test. They had 40 men and women assemble an Uden kitchen trolley, some with instructions and some without. And they found that the men were faster and more accurate in their construction, while the women benefited more from the instructions than the men. Perhaps, as the researchers suggest, it all comes down to sex difference in mental rotation ability. Or hey, maybe it's just a super small study and the men were overly competitive about the whole thing. Either way, it's far too easy to take the findings and generalize ad nauseum about the furniture building prowess of men and women. This especially rings true given the recent study Sex Beyond the Genitalia, the Human Brain Mosaic, published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. As that tantalizing title suggests, the researchers found that while there certainly are sex and gender differences in brain and behavior, each human brain is a unique mosaic of features. Some of these features are more common in females of the species, others are more common in males, and some are common in both. In other words, there's no typical male or female brain, and there's no sliding male-female continuum for you to rank your head cheese on. It all backs up a long understood fact that you'll find more brain variation within a given sex than between the two. The researchers analyzed MRIs of more than 1,400 human brains from four separate data sets, and then they corroborated the data with a personality behavior analysis of more than 5,500 individuals. They did not, however, rule on how my own particular brain managed to assemble an inside-out Dagstorp. So what's your take on these brain studies? Let me know, and if you crave more weird science goodness, be sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.